The Bible talks about the heart so many times throughout Scripture. You see, the heart is a tricky thing that must be monitored and watched. One of the Scriptures says this in Jeremiah 17, 9 and 10, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick. Who can understand it? I, the Lord, search the heart and test the mind to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his deeds. You see, God does look on the heart as we see many times in Scripture. Scripture says He does give us a new heart when we come to Him, but the sanctification process of becoming more like Him takes time. You see, the body in some ways is like a car. There are many things that work together to move us and we make turns and stop when we need to. I heard it said this way, we need to allow the Holy Spirit to be the dashboard of our lives and our heart. To watch out for the check engine light when our heart is going the wrong direction. Many times, like a car, things are happening and we aren't even aware of it until it breaks down. We need to watch the dashboard and allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us and throw up those warning lights when we are out of alignment with Scripture and God's will. You see, what is your heart filled with? Are you reading the owner's manual and know God's perfect design for you and to operate at peak performance in your life? There's a story of a soldier in Napoleon's army that was wounded one day by a bullet that entered his breast above his heart. As a surgeon probed for the bullet, the soldier exclaimed, an inch deeper and you will find the emperor. You see, if your heart were laid open, would Christ be found there? In Proverbs 4.23 it says this, Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flows the springs of life. Let's allow God to examine our heart for the things that need to be removed. Allow the Holy Spirit to give you those warning lights to warn you of things that are hindering your life to operate as God designed it. I love this prayer that David prayed in Psalms 139, 23 and 24. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. See, that's a bold prayer, but one I think any of us that are believers in Christ should be praying. Today, ask God to examine your heart and remove any corrosion or spiritual rust that is formed in your heart and keep an eye on the dashboard of your heart.